Hi, welcome to Mr. Kingdom School of Art. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about my latest chalk pastel drawing of the Werribee River and show you the pastels that I used to draw it with. And finally, finish up with a slideshow showing the progression of the work over a few weeks. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. <laughs> So here is the finished artwork and it's been photographed or scanned already and so now I'm just uh, waiting to have it framed. I've actually done several drawings of the Werribee River now at different locations and this spot here I've only done in one other pastel drawing which was done for the retiring head of primary at the school that I worked at. The location for both of these artworks is not too far from the Werribee Mansion as you head down towards Werribee South Beach and just near the golf course down there and even though I had lived in the area for a bit over 20 years it was only recently that I first got to see this particular spot, um, which is known as the cliffs, looking down across the plains and there's walking tracks and things which I haven't explored yet. But it's uh, quite a stunning spot and it kind of reminds me of some of the scenes from The Lord of the Rings and I guess the, the dark tones, the shadowy bits as well as the, the river and the beautiful tree all contributes to that feeling. So these are the pastels that I used for this artwork and I mainly use the Rembrandt ones and particularly for the sky I did use uh, the Art Spectrum pastel. The Rembrandts are quite waxy and buttery as someone has described them, um, almost uh, on the verge of being an oil pastel, a sort of part way between the two perhaps. Uh, so they have a lovely feel, they go on very smoothly. The Art Spectrum ones give really good coverage and I find that if you need to go over something, uh, they can cover the colours below very well because they're nice and soft. They are a bit more crumbly though than the Rembrandts and uh, so I prefer to use the Rembrandts for, for most areas and then use the Art Spectrum ones for, for some highlights. So both have their purpose and both are useful in their own way uh, but for the general feel I do enjoy the Rembrandts. The style of this one is probably a little bit more impressionistic. It wasn't necessarily the style I was going for but uh, it just transpired that way. I do admire some of the impressionist work though, especially Monet's. Uh, I was also thinking of some of the travel posters like the old railway posters where some of the colours are 
simplified or flattened out. Uh, so that was in the back of my mind as well. Here's the Werribee River again, and it's actually the same spot exactly as the Heaven and Nature Sing pastel drawing, but obviously a different medium. So this was done with a sepia pen, a fine one that was sepia coloured, and I'll just move in a bit. So very different feel in some ways, more like a book illustration, which I love. So I thought it might be interesting to see the comparison between the pastel work and the pen work and both give a different feel to the same landscape. And here is the Werribee River again, this time not too far from the main street of Werribee, Morgan Street. And we've got the footbridge going across the river. And I particularly liked this composition with the, the weed that was growing across the water. In some ways it reminds me of Monet's water lilies. So we're back looking at the main artwork again. And Hopefully you've enjoyed looking at the other images, seeing the different ways that similar locations or even the same location can be represented in different forms, how you can create a different feel, capture different emotions for them, focus in on different textures. And thinking about textures, I particularly in this work, love the, the velvety, feel or appearance of the grass in the distance and uh, you can imagine running your hands over the bark of the tree and I think this one's a good one for even imagining the sounds of the water gently flowing maybe the odd bird flying through the trees watching the clouds drifting along in the distance the grass rustling. So to finish up I will now show you a slideshow showing the progress of the work over a few weeks and I had started to do a time-lapse video but after doing it for a while I realized that most of the time the viewer could only see my back and I decided instead just to take some photos and put them in a slideshow this time and in future videos I'll work out a better position for recording myself as I'm making these larger works. So I hope you enjoyed the slideshow and I hope you've enjoyed uh, hearing about this artwork and I look forward to hopefully connecting with you in future videos.